I've had a lot of requests from people uh, asking for me to explain how backhand English or aim and pivot aim work. Uh, so I'm going to try to put together a few demonstrations to show how this works. The whole idea of backhand English kind of stems from the uh, the idea of a choose pivot point. But first we need to understand what a pivot point is and how it's established. So to demonstrate a pivot point, uh, I'll use this strike ball, which will show the spin of the ball. And if I aim this shot at that piece of chalk, and lining up with the center ball here, then I pivot across the English, now what will happen is the direction of the cue will influence the ball to travel left of that chalk. But the squirt, which is a characteristic of the cue, will deflect the, the ball to the right. So depending on the length of the breach here, these two factors will count, cancel out at some stage. So for my cue, at kind of medium to firm speed, it worked out at about 15 inches. So if I line up at that chalk, pivot the cross, and then stroke straight through, applying English to the cue ball, I, I will still hit at that location, that piece of chalk. Now one benefit of using a backhand English is that the compensation